study about is how do we uh, drive, how do we calculate K uh, by using uh, this kind of experimental data. But anyway, if you don't know K, if, if we use uh, just very, uh, for this, uh, easier, if you want to take easier way, we always go to this figure and find out uh, whatever the C value that you want for any T value. Okay? This is a uh, model. But uh, there are two different problems. One problem is, is this perfect? Do you think your experimental data is the perfect number? In other words, do you think you are the perfect man or woman? No. We make mistakes, okay? We can, um, we can use uh, uh, dirty um, glassware, we can uh, have, have an error and we measure the, uh, the, the agent. And many things can happen. So this one may have some error. And in here I draw a very nice line, but my value can be here, value can be there. So my line, this may not be the perfect line either. So my k value can have some error as well. So I have two different errors. One is the source error, source of data error, and my model error. Okay? So we are going to talk about that. But in here, what the still is trying to say in here is, let's say we had a C0 in here, and after some time, we let's say we have, this is my T, uh, this time, really start. <laughs> this is this. Is. And this, I want to find out C star in here. So between C0 uh, and C star, I have some uh, value here. All right. Yeah. So, in other words, my C star is alpha prime C zero. If we multiply in here, um, and in here, many things are actually uh, omitted. Many things are, are not really included. So that's why I don't like this expression. Anyway, if we keep using this one. And this means that, and we can say that alpha may be uh, 0.1, whatever, whatever, okay? So after some time, after enough time, and we can say this one is uh, T uh, infinity. After enough time passes, and if you want to calculate my concentration, if you allow enough time, then my concentration, because if my C0 was 100 and then my C uh, infinity is 10, right? Then my assimilation factor, assimilation factor is 0.1. So 90% is gone, right? 10, or 10% 10 is there. So this assimilation factor can be uh, regarded as Similar to self purification capacity. The nature ecosystem has a capacity to uh, to get back to its normal um, condition. It's like a uh, human body, once you get a scar, and if we spend enough time, my scar is cured, right? It's very important. And in here, we have many different um, uh, 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 processes are involved in here. In here, maybe uh, decomposition, Sampling, filtration, and whatever. Okay? And many other adjustments and whatever. Okay? 
many of the processes are involved in here. And this is something, this is kind of collection of something that can reduce the original value to the final value. Okay? But there is only one condition. Empirically in here. We have to allow this system to pass long enough time. Right? We have to wait. We have to wait. And this assimilated factory cannot happen right away. Okay, it's not a matter. Okay? If you just uh, allow them to spend enough time, let's say one day, one week, one month, one year, whatever. Okay? So after a long period of time, if we find my C0 became something else, then we can say, okay, this one is the uh, kind of uh, self-purification. Uh, factor or capacity of this system. Then if we know this kind of thing then by experimental data, then okay, we, we can say that. We can say that. If, if we, but then in this game we always have to have kind of data first, okay? We have to experience first. And we have to know what is going on. And even though we don't know the equation, and by experience, we can say, okay, if you allow this just one week, Okay, and that kind of thing. So then, if we want that uh, experience or that uh, statistical uh, situation uh, into a kind of a mathematical form, this is the first one. Okay, and this is easy. And if you want a little bit, want to become a little bit more sophisticated or complicated, then we can use a little bit more complex form. Okay. And then a little more and more. But basic idea behind this is we once we find the kind of uh, once we have observation, we want change, we want to use some other method, which is mathematical expression or equation. So that we can we, we, we want to make our life easier. Okay? In this case, if we just substitute my t into something else that calculates c. This is a lot easier than just drawing the line here. Okay? A lot maybe a precise or a lot more accurate than doing this. So but anyway, this one, this one, that one, all of them have the same idea. We want to predict the condition that we want to know. Right? Okay, that's the main idea about the Amount. Okay. So everyone with me, right? Okay. And everyone with me. And do you see? You said of the one more of the that one is there of the cabinet and the everyone with me, you know. I guess so. Okay. So um so in this case. We want to use my model as a predictive tool. We want to calculate the situation that I want to know. Also, we can check our solution. If once you have this one, if you know this kind of figure, this value, or that equation, then you can also double check that, okay, I can say, okay, I'm okay. Right? So both two are the same. In that case, um, um, then uh, if you want to build a kind of a, a, a reactor that you want to treat your water quality, then you want to know how long it is going to take to reduce my concentration to shear. And if I want to reduce my concentration from here to there, then I want to know how long do I have to wait? Okay? So you can calculate the uh, situation backward, right? Okay. So you get the engineering insight idea about your design. Okay. So we did it. We did it. So and if you understood what I am talking about, and those are just nothing. Okay? And in here is a little bit confusing, and it hurts a little because uh, I uh, uh, kind of told you uh, uh, just a different way. Because if 
here, if you, uh, that, yeah. Let's say in here, if we just match these two, maybe my W is uh, my C0, and my C is C infinity, then in this case, my 1 over A is the same as my alpha, okay? Right? So don't get confused. I want to know the, uh, the, uh, the uh, um, concept about this. It doesn't really matter. 1 over A, alpha, beta, A, B, C, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So once you understood this one, it's okay. So if you uh, don't understand this, then forget it. That's okay. And if, because I'm recording this, uh, if you still watch this one, he'll, he'll not like that. Sorry, Steve. But anyway, it's the same idea. Same idea. So I believe you uh, solved this example already and ready to give the homework to me, right? So I will just take it over. Oh, well, well, in here, well, I, I have it. I have it. And th in this case, uh, uh, I want, if I want to uh, calculate uh, my concentration at certain time t, I can use this one. In this case, um, what is the definition of function? Function means for one uh, independent variable, you will have one dependent variable. In other words, if you have this, for one x, you will have one over y, right? In here, we have function here. One for one t, you have one c. So this we could call this as analytical. Deterministic is 
then we can have a general tendency. So we have to at least know uh, the four, four part number. That's the, the range itself. Number that is pretty close. And the mechanistic way, and things like this. This is Newton's second law, okay? And the Sir Isaac Newton, and he uh, gave us this kind of equation and gave us a lot of headache, right? In other words, well, I, I, I try to explain this in the bridges again. He uh, made our life a lot easier, but actually for an engineer and a lot of headaches. Anyway, this is very much important equation, F equals MA. This is, that is Newton's second law. And this is a conservation of momentum. Momentum is Well, in this case, 
uh, even though you believe that you have everything to build your house, there can be a lot of uh, missing stuff. Okay? You, may, you may order wrong item for your block, you may order wrong item for your electrical problems, things like that. And then you have to always replace and fix it and change it, improve it, and that's why you are studying. Okay? I, if I build a perfect house, you don't need to study, you just have to follow me. I'm Jesus. But I'm not, right? So, and this kind of thing is uh, um, kind of job security, but uh, that's the fact. Anyway. So if you know, if you go back to your um, textbook, and where we are now is uh, page 13. In page 13, um, there is a very uh, important um, uh, uh, equation or expression uh, for us. And if you um, uh, take a look at the middle part of page um, 13, there is things like this. Accumulation, and loadings, and transfer, and combination of the accumulation, and loadings, and transfer, and reaction. Okay. And in here, let's say this is your lake. You have uh, some wastewater coming in. You have some uh, river coming in. And then somehow the, the river is flowing out. Then what happens? That's the question. Okay? And you want to know what is going to be uh, your concentration unit. Okay? Then uh, what do you have to do? First, you have to know how much is coming in, right? How much may go in out? And then, I want to, uh, to calculate things like this, I want, maybe I can use this kind of equation or some other equation. If you don't know anything, we can just use, use our experience. Okay, wait just about a month. It's not okay. That's another model. That's one of the models. Okay. So farmers, they are good models too. Because they know, they can express, uh, predict the weather or the, the, the uh, many situations about uh, their um, product. And so that's uh, one of the good modeling uh, methods. In here, accumulate. What is accumulation? Accumulation is something like uh, the building. The, that keeps accumulate, that, that keeps uh, remaining in your system. Okay, come here and don't go away. But in here, as you can see, something keeps coming in. Something keeps going out. Let's say this one is uh, A, B, C. Then how much is going to be here? Let's say this one is uh, something like this, Z. Okay, so from a mass balance point of view, something coming in is A and B. Something going out is C. This can be Z, am I right? Okay, so this is something in, this is something out, and this is remaining. And this is the same as accumulation, right? right? Something remains and keeps what is this, uh, uh, growing. It's like money in your bank, okay? If you keep deposit, depositing your money, your account balance is going to grow up. If you use it, it is, it's, it's going to be reduced. Exactly like that. Okay? So, this is the most important, most important um, uh, principle of our modeling. If you understand this one and you understood about 90% of modeling, then you can check it out. <laughs> Very much important. Very much Okay? Right. So, this one has very, uh, um, difficult looking, uh, fragile looking, uh, uh, etc. 
and there. But the basic idea is how much coming in, how much going out. And then maybe I, I have uh, some kind of reaction here, D. Then maybe I can add D here. And sometimes you have a uh, water intake, because you have to supply water to the city. Then you can have uh, something about E. If you know uh, the data uh, a little bit further, then you can add and to make your the, the, the equation a little bit better. Sometimes you have uh, something coming in from the groundwater. Then plus F, right? Okay? And sometimes very bad man come here and then throw things away and then throw it. The G. So as you know more and more about your system, you can add more and more. But sometimes this can G can be very small compared to the whole system, then you can just, you know, okay? Right. So then you can, in this case, if you wanna, if you can ignore or not, that's gonna be based on your experience. Okay? So you have to uh, uh, train yourself um, on and on and on, and so that you can have a feeling about this value. So conservation of mass, conservation of mass, what is that? Conservation. Conservation is conservation like this. Mass is even though we don't have uh, this one in, in, in English there, we call that as right? Very important. I had this one conservation momentum. This is for dynamics, so we are not going to use it in this class, but very much important for fluid mechanics. That's basic, really core idea about fluid mechanics. And in here, the water flow process in this class, which is, is the most important uh, principle. Very simple, but the most important. So what we are going to do, you are going to come A, B, C, D, and F and put everything in here under the umbrella of conservation of mass and then try to think what kind of method you are going to use. You can use numerical, mathematical, mechanical, whatever, okay? And but the the, the most uh, important building block is this one. If you want to develop equation, okay? Alright, history Maybe important, but who cares? Anyway, well, now we are, we are living in 2016, about 100 years ago, the professor Sprita and Faust, they developed the diesel of the oxygen equation in Ohio River. And I went to the University of Michigan, Michigan at the Hinesdale, and in there, there is a stricter lab, stricter user named Churchill. That, that's the department is pretty proud of that. And during 1960s, when Kennedy, Kennedy from the United was in power, and there was a booming about computer. So they tried to send a man to the moon, like that. So there was a, a kind of a golden time for computer people and also for modeling people as well. But not like that. Not like that at this time. And we now have algae problem, eutrophicate problem. And in the US they also have same problem about let's say 40 years ago, 30 years ago. But they still have a problem. They still have the problem. But uh, uh, the people are aware of the problem at about 40 years ago and but we are now trying to catch this up. And then they are now uh, trying to understand uh, the toxic uh, material problem in water and sediment, whatever. And, but uh, I think this is our next topic that we have to study. And we are now at, at the stage of uh, studying eutrophication and trying to build a model, or use the model, not the building up. 
But anyway, nowadays we have many dif uh, different uh, good IT technologies, but uh, environment engineering, especially in our country, I think this is very uh, at the very low degree technical stage. Low degree. We just always have to use our mouth. We just always argue about this and that, this and that. But we have to come back to our common sense and try to collect the idea based uh, by using this scientific um, method. We need to build the block. And if we have the house, we can try to uh, improve the house by using uh, some more uh, scientific idea. And in this case, later on, what I want you to do is I want you to strengthen uh, the engineering or technology of our environment engineering by using advanced uh, uh, technology, something like uh, uh, ITs, but based on really good scientific principle. Okay? So, and and why we are why we are why we are using model? We cannot just build and destroy, build and destroy all the time because it takes a lot of money. Okay, before we build the, the real uh, plant, we want compare uh, the effectiveness of that uh, process. Okay, so in that case, if you use model. This computer work. We can just uh, uh, calculate, and if we and if we don't like it, we can just replace with other uh, alternatives. And also, now we became a lot better than before in an economic um, uh, situation. So we now turn our attention to the other countries, countries like uh, well. Not long before ago, China, but China is now becoming like that. Well, Africa, South Africa, whatever. But we have to also think about our neighbor, North Korea as well. And then I think, um, I don't know when uh, the thing, reunification can uh, come true. But so in that case, if you want to go to some other country, Cambodia, Laos, or some other countries, as an environment, Something. Then you have to really use this kind of thing because you cannot just go and then take measurement. Later on, of course, you have to confirm if you're calculating right or not. And now a lot of computer hardware and software got developed. And but uh, think about us: are we utilizing that advantage of this development? We know how to play game so <laughs> in our smartphone, but I think that's about it. You have to uh, try to understand how this hardware is made of and what kind of softwares are moving those things around. Okay? And then we can also use background information as well in our environment engineering. That's modeling. Okay? And what, what kind of... many these are uh, already there. Hydrodynamics, fluid gates, that is very much advanced by now. And you can just go and, and ask people to uh, let us know, or we can uh, uh, just use their idea, or, or you can use their already developed software too. And so, but on the other hand, there are many things that we have to uh, study as well. Oh, well. Maybe I talk it too much. But uh, these seven things are very important. And I have about three minutes left. But let me just uh, go really fast. OK. But in here, mostly we just use our uh, ready to model and we mostly uh, use model that is already developed. But in here, uh, still try to explain uh, how we develop, how we confirm uh, the um, uh, uh, modeling uh, process. And 
the most, most important thing is what is the problem? What is the problem? Some complaint. What is happening? Okay? Then we have to know what kind of model that we are going to use. Are we going to use this one or that one, a simulation or equation, whatever? Then we once we know the equation, then we have just uh, try to use it. And if you don't like it, and you can calibrate. Calibrate means if you have big K, if your K is big, in this case, your equation will be something like this. Okay? If you have a small K, then your K, your equation never ever come down to zero. Okay? Then you have to adjust your k, plus and minus. Then somehow, you can just move up and down, up and down, and then you can find out, okay, even though this is not perfect, I like it. Then you're happy, then you just stop. That means that's a, uh, you calibrate. You calibrate your gun, okay? Like a control you click, right? You shot, shot the target, and then it is up, down, and right, and left. And then you just uh, uh, adjust your uh, gun so that you can, when you shoot, and next time you can just hit right target if you're right. Okay? But sometimes, if you are in a different uh, system, then your K may not be good. Then you have to confirm if uh, your approach was right. Sometimes, many people just like to try art. By in their hand, they just uh, draw a line. And then say, I'm happy. But this one has to be confirmed with totally different setup and try to, we need to find out if that approach is good for this as well. If it's good for this and that, okay, then you're happy. Then you confirm, right? Okay, I'm right. And then we can just, just use that equation for our management action. And then long time after, we also need to find out, we need to come back. If that, that equation was used right, or if there was any error uh, in here, then you need to find out if we have to improve it or not. So I want you to go over this one. Very interesting, right? That is on your page um, Actually, uh, I don't know where that is <laughs> Forget it Anyway, but I want you to read this book okay? This is very important okay? Once you have a problem And you have to slap the model and try to calibrate and then you need to confirm and then you need to apply and then you need to find out again right so i explained everything in word but uh, more detailed information is like this okay even even they have a korean right just for you and then the second one third one also, I want you to visit uh, here and there and find out um, because there are public models and it's pretty good. And yeah. I will go over a little bit uh, when we start our uh, class on Wednesday, and, but uh, I want to, um, uh, I want to uh, finish this uh, first uh, chapter. Uh, today. Well, if I hear, I forget. If I see, I remember. If I do, I understand. What does this mean? You need to do your homework. Okay? By September 19th, today, right? So that's impossible. So by this Wednesday. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.